o'clock. We are going. Oh yeah. Put some trident on it. I'm trying to do some of that. We good? Maybe it's uh, there we go. It is live. Oh hey look, the movie's in the chat. Stream. Okay. Let me just open up YouTube quickly on here. Working on Twitch? Okay. I'll just see if YouTube's live. His laptop is so slow. It takes forever to load. Live stream. It is. It's live. Yeah, it's been live for two minutes. <laughs> Do you have the... So it's live? In kitchen YouTube. Sweet. Awesome. So now I can close it. All good. Time to fix this thing. So I've got to watch for the liquid that's coming out and plug off the ends. Can you, um, okay, so you said that. Alright, so it's working. Did you just type hey? Alright, cool. Sweet, let's do this.
Let's just make this smaller. There we go, now I can see. Hey guys, Kayla PVP, hello, how are you? Fuse, how are you? Memphis Chapman, how are you today? Uh, so the the uh, short circuit happened with the well basically I was using my desk the night before and overnight I left the power point on so it's still sort of it's still receiving power but the PC is not actually on but that was enough to make my uh, CPU short circuit now what happened was the motherboard actually had some discoloration on it and my i7 5960X CPU had some discoloration on the bottom. The motherboard's completely fried, so I had to put a different motherboard in there. And um, I don't have a replacement for that one yet, so hopefully I can get one. And the CPU I sent back to Intel so I could get a replacement. Um, I got a phone call today from Intel saying, does the CPU work? Now, um, that got me... Uh, a bit worried thinking well it's it's meant to be a brand new cpu isn't it shouldn't it work why are you guys asking me um so that's what we're testing now we're going to put the cpu into the desk and see if it all works nice and fine and hopefully get my desk pc back up and running So we're just cleaning off all the uh, thermal paste on the water block and the uh, other CPU that I had in there. Trying to get that nice and clean. Right, that looks good. Ambitious, good to see you man. Daily Hacks, how are you today? Stats, Nerd, how are you guys? Which fan is the best in high RPM? Ooh, that's a tough one. Personally, I like, I don't know. I like Noctura fans. That's what I use in my desk. This um, liquid drop on the system. No, uh, there was no leak. It was just, must have just been a bit of a power surge or something like that. And it just shorted between the CPU and the motherboard itself. So we'll just clean up all this thermal paste and get the new CPU in there. We'll fill the desk as well, guys. So I'll show you guys actually how I fill it. Obviously, it's a lot harder than a normal PC, but it definitely works. I just got back from work as well, so straight into the PC madness. Ah, uh, no, I don't have a UPS. Kayla PVP. <laughs> How much RAM? 32 gigs. So we got the uh, new CPU, well hopefully new. And hopefully this works.
you know, I'll be so annoyed if it doesn't do it. Because that would mean that I have to take all the liquid in that out again. So much fussing around. Oh, well. Right, let's take this out. UPS could have saved it. I'm not too sure. What RAM speed? Uh, 3000 megahertz. Video SD current. Oh, really? Wow. That's not good then. I'll put the new CPU in there. should work though if it's come straight from Intel you would think so anyway knowing my luck though it's probably gonna be another dud and I'm gonna have to wait another week and you guys wouldn't believe what I was using in the uh, meantime I basically had a, a motherboard box set up on top of the desk and I just had like hard drives here the motherboard just sitting on top that's what I was using for the past week <laughs> The radiator clean? Yeah, no worries. Have you used Barrow parts? Yes, I have used Barrow parts. Um, apparently Bits Power also makes Barrow. They're actually pretty decent. Murphy's Law. You are very welcome. So I'm just going to install the uh, CPU block first and then we'll get um, the tubing in and then we have to get some liquid in I was actually meaning to live stream yesterday as well but um, I didn't get home from um, work until really late so I wasn't able to do that but I did at least get a video out, so that's fine. I've also bridged the 24 pin cable with uh, just the paper clip. It'll just act as like a jump start just to get the pumps going once we uh, start filling it with liquid. How many PCs have you ever built? I've lost count. <laughs> In all honesty, I've lost count. Actually, before we put that in, might be a good idea to put some thermal paste on the CPU, wouldn't it? Oh, 
should be enough. Pea sized blob of thermal paste, that'll do. This one out. This one's just getting in the way. What monitors are you using in this setup? Uh, the middle monitor is uh, an Asus RG Swift and the two outsides are LG 27 inch IPS LED monitors, but I want to replace those. I want to get, um, well, when I can afford it, I'd like to get a 4K IPS monitor because IPS is like more true to color. It'll be better for editing and things like that. So ultimately, that's what I would like to get. The middle monitor is more for gaming. It's got that um, high refresh rate and hertz and all of that good stuff. Yeah, I might actually, I don't know, I'd, I'd certainly love to get at least one really good editing monitor. Care about these things, it's a little too much. <laughs> How could you say that? <laughs> Never. <laughs> hey, good. How are you today? Hey, I like I like doing PC stuff. All right, man. <laughs> it's my hobby. CPU block is connected. That's always good. Awesome. Done. CPU blocks in. We've got the GPU line all connected to the uh, radiator and flow meter down there, so that's all good to go. So 
Now we need to bring in our hard drives and we'll get all of them connected. Only Gib is here. Four hard drives. To be honest, I had the Ben PTV tuning for. Beginners, um, funny, funny you should say that because um, I've actually got Amelia doing her very own build coming up very soon. <laughs> Amelia's actually going to be doing hard tubing as well, so it'll be her first time bending the tubes as well. I'm sure you guys are like like the uh, build that she's come up with. That's one hard drive connected. Hard drive is connected. That should be connected. Just push it in to make sure. Awesome. Okay, that's connected. a bit of a wipe down as well. <clears throat> so what meant to be there? But if I got one the wrong way. Give me one second guys, if you can hear me. Uh, I think the stream's back, it just had a little bit of a uh, cut out. We're good, we're good. Sorry, we are working off Australian internet, Wi-Fi, inside of a caravan with a metal shell. It's just not working in our favour.
Okay. That's those two. That should be good. Bring this closer. That's the third hard drive. Connected. Good man, I've been good dude, how are you? Better, better good. Apart from the uh, desk PC short circuiting. Other than that, I've been good. I need to uh, bend a new tube over here too. That one's not going to be straight. Alright, that'll do for now. That's fine. Does Amelia still bully you? <laughs> Amelia always bullies you. <laughs> Amelia is the biggest bully in the world. She just laughs at everything I do, puts me down. <laughs> That's all Amelia does. <laughs> and I didn't even do anything to deserve it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're mean, Amelia. I'm lovely and kind. Okay, let's start filming it. Sorry? How do you like your logo? My logo? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. A bit smaller. Okay. Awesome. Let's get some paper towel in between all of these components. Don't want anything leaking on. Get something down there. I don't think it'll leak because I actually haven't undone a lot of it. But better be safe than sorry. And if it leaks on the CPU and fries it again, I'll just say, yeah, it never worked. <laughs> I'll just tell Intel that never worked. open to the pump you know the problem I might actually I don't you know how I used to use the uh, microphone stand yeah. thing to hold it yeah well I, can't, uh. I don't have that now <laughs> Nothing can hold it. And I'm probably going to need your help, to be honest. Yeah. With um, just holding it. Okay. 
Okay. I've got a 90 degree fitting coming out of one of the reservoirs down here. And um, that's got a tube coming out. Now that's to relieve some of the pressure within the loop and that will also make the water levels rise evenly through the loop. I've also got an import going into the pump and I'm going to put a funnel on that so it should feel nice and easy. Now once it gets to a certain point it will stop filling. Once it reaches uh, the point where the tube out comes of the reservoir it will stop filling so what I'm going to have to do is I've got ports at the back of the reservoirs I'm going to have to lift the reservoir like that to make the water level lower and once I open that back port it'll start filling up sounds pretty complicated but it's pretty easy and here's that green liquid I need to scroll down. Where's my mouse? There it is. Let's go to the bottom. Ah, sweet. Now I want to make sure all my ports are done up as well. Because that would be a fail. Those GP ports are done, that's done, that's done, that's done, they're all done, that's good, that's good. So once that second tube starts to fill up, that's when we will cycle the pump a tiny bit to try and get the liquid through the system. Yeah, so you can see the liquid coming up that tube now. Just got to keep an eye on that. Um, Amelia, can you hold this? Seven. Just hold them up for a second. Sweet. Awesome. Hope that brings some light. <laughs> <laughs> I might need you like pretty much straight away. Actually, I should be alright.
The Mew official? Mm -hmm. He's the guy that made that sick music, um, hard style trap remix. Ah. The This is Sparta. That's cool. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, dude, how are you today? Awesome that you got a PC, man. That's sick, dude. Nice work. Um, I also can't fully um, fill this tube because soon you'll actually start seeing the water rising. And once that water starts rising, that's when I actually have to play with those ports at the back of the reservoirs to get the uh, liquid fully in. So the water's starting to go around there. So now we just gotta get it through the hard drives and back. Hey, at least you know the fans work, hey. <laughs> Finally, i7 7700K, Gigabyte GTX 1070OC, 16 gigabytes RAM, and one terabyte H hard drive. Nice work, man. There's some good specs. That should be pretty good for your um, or your music and all that stuff as well. Your music production. The Mew, are you still making music? How are we going over here? There's no leaks. Going strong. So how do you tip the desk sideways to get rid of the bubbles? I don't. <laughs> I let the bubbles bleed out by themselves. <laughs> so there ain't no tipping this thing sideways. Unless someone else wants to lift it for me. Put it this way, you won't have to go to the gym that week.
says, I haven't made an edit in a few months of finally being making music. I'm being what? Being making music. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, the liquid's flowing. You can see the water levels are starting to stay in the tubes there, which means we need to start thinking about um, letting some of that pressure out at the reservoirs there and filling it up that way. So you can see it's starting to rise now. <laughs> What's she doing? I don't know. She's out of here. <laughs> she don't like me anymore. Not for us. Web hoster. Oh, awesome. Yeah, changing the speed of the pump helps the bubbles to uh, go out. But normally what I do is I'll leave one of the tubes on one of the ports so that um, when the air gets into the reservoir, it can escape out of the um, tube. You just let You just leave it running for a bit and it gets rid of it. <clears throat> um, could I please get you to hold this? That's lies. No leaving. I've got like that much liquid to go. <laughs> And that tube will start going down as I release the pressure at the back of the reservoir because when I open the port, all that liquid's feeding into the reservoir and making them a lot fuller. So now I'll just keep repeating that until this reservoir's filled up and then I'll go to the other one. Real slow though because it's closed. Sweet. I'll open up the last one next time. So this one's looking good. There's not much in there. In fact, this might be the last, last bit. Talking to me. <laughs> yeah. One more fill after that. I'll undo that one. 
I might have to get a bit of distilled water tomorrow and just top it up a bit because we probably lost the time to get through um, through draining it. But this is definitely enough. One last drip's coming. <laughs> one last drip. It was just one little drip. <laughs> Let's just get this thing up and running anyway and see if this CPU actually works. That's what I'm interested in. Neil, what is that? Just neon coloured water? Neon. <laughs> pretty much. They're pretty much. Um, that's Mayhem's UV green dye and it, re it reacts to UV light and makes it glow. But you can see the effect better at night with no lights on. All right, let's turn it on, see how it runs, and then we will boot it up or attempt to boot it up. I've got to turn those fans down as well to reduce the noise. But it's flowing good. There's a bit of uh, bit of air in the system still, air bubbles, but we will uh, let that bleed overnight by keeping that tube on this port here. Then that'll get it out. Pennywise, how are you today? Good to see you. Very well, thank you. I'll be a bit annoyed if the CPU doesn't work though. <laughs> I'll have to wait for Intel to send another one out. flowing and it's flowing well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up all the power properly and we'll see if it boots in and try and get it fired up put it back on okay. 
You know what, it actually didn't take that long to get that CPU in there. Damn. Yeah. Just hopefully it works. If I can get it to boot. Dude. Then we can overclock again. Let's plug in. I'm going to sort all the lows out again. I won't worry about that for now. Where that's going. Plug the 24 pin in. Alright, hopefully that works. Look at that. There's too much glare for them. They can't see the boot. We have ROG symbol. What's going on here? F1. All right, we're in the BIOS. So let's see if we can actually get this thing to boot. Let's just not change anything and load defaults at the moment. Set changes and reset. Are you still in the caravan? I sure am. We actually I actually knocked out the kitchen with Amelia. We had like a, a bench running behind here and around the back here. And um, we knocked that out to make room for my desk. And my desk was facing this way before and we turned it to face how it is now. So it's, it's given us a lot more room. I've actually set up another table beside me as well, um, which will, uh, be used for like benchmarks and things like that. I'm going to unplug the uh, printer. Not that anyone really needs it at the moment.
No, don't want to. Okay, guys, so look at that. Got it all up and running. It's booted. How does that... Oh, shit, you're looking at the bloody... <laughs> you're looking at the laptop. Do you like that laptop? Look at the laptop that we're using. Well, we've booted. <laughs> Safe to say that that CPU is working. Safe to say I've also got a lot of YouTube notifications. Yeah, so as I was saying before, um, I, I just had to quickly race off because the laptop was almost uh, dead. Let me get some music playing again. Yeah, laptop was almost dead, so I had to go get a uh, power lead for it. I forgot to uh, plug it in. But yeah, as I was saying before, we put a desk in just behind, just behind for um, doing some benchmark videos, also like filming product reviews and stuff on there, and our PCs as well. So uh, yeah, but as you can see, we actually had some air bubbles in the GPU, but they've actually gone through the loop as well. So it's all up and running nice. Glad we actually got that up and running. You know what the real test is though? Basically, whenever I tried to render a video, that's when the CPU would crash. So I'm gonna put some load on the CPU and we will test it out, see if that crashes. Because I still don't trust it. Go away notifications. <laughs> can't get rid of them. Alright, Sony Vegas. Uh, I'm not going to be able to because I've got to activate it on this computer. Okay. That's something that I can do later. Yeah, it wants me to activate it. Oh, shit. Overwatch stream soon, hell yeah. Fast one for gaming, sitting down at Amazon Prime. Alright, let's actually, I'm going to clean this up. Clean the desk up, we'll get the uh, glass and that back on the top so we can actually start using the thing. Let's turn the fans down as well. Because they're up full ball at the moment. What's the stream schedule? Um, at the moment, I've actually been enjoying doing all of the um, live streaming, all of the like custom PCs and stuff, the build progress and all of that. Um, and I've, we've also been doing a bit of Rocket League on Friday night and Saturday night, but we want to incorporate um, some Overwatch into it, maybe some Battlefield 1 and... Um, and go from there, but I think that Amelia and I want to start getting some weeknights in as well for live streams. So definitely, um, if you guys are keen to join, definitely keep in touch and keep a watch for that. I think I'll be going live tomorrow as well, um, continuing on with Loser Fruits PC. But I've also got a client GPU backplate. Um, that um, someone's paid me to build for him, so I've got to get that done as well. So I'll probably do all of that tomorrow on a live stream. And um, yeah, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna clean the inside of this desk a tiny bit before I put the, the uh, glass back on. I'll just give it a, a bit of a wipe down with the microfiber cloth.
also take the keyboard and mouse out as well. It's computer building your job. Now I'm a uh, engineering surveyor. I'm still in my work clothes. As soon as I got home, I got onto the uh, building the computers and live streaming and all of that. I don't really earn any money from this, to be honest. So over time, all of those bubbles, that they'll disappear. I'll put the uh, tube in there tonight <clears throat> just to let all of those bubbles um, get out of the system. You're a really underrated YouTuber. Oh, I'm happy with um, where we're at. We're growing. We're growing comfortably. We're. Um, I mean, in all honesty, it would be great to make custom PCs every single day. But um, really, I'm, I'm happy with the uh, rate that we're growing. I have looked up a bit of statistics. We could probably go full-time YouTube in, at the rate we're growing now, probably two years. Um, however, I would love to get Amelia. Um, I'd love to get Amelia not working before me. Um, so she's not under any pressure or anything. And... If eventually I did get big enough, of course I would do it full time because I absolutely love doing um, custom PCs. But we also have to think about, you know, how much house costs are, bills and things like that. So it just depends. And I don't think that it's a real smart option to just rely on YouTube just rely on YouTube for income. Because anything could happen with YouTube any day. YouTube could die, just like Vine did. It could happen. I don't think it will, because YouTube's like the one of the largest search en engines. I think it's like second. And um, it's a place where people go to learn, go for entertainment. It's bigger than TV. They're actually signing on TV networks to YouTube. So I don't think it'll die anytime soon, but you always have to sort of prepare for things like that as well. I think that looks pretty clean. I'll just give the top a bit of a wipe. So when are you guys, we want to get a house first. We'd love to get a house 
first and then um, think about all of that. We are engaged. Housing prices in Sydney though are very, very high at the moment. And I could certainly do with the extra room because I know that like, the thing is if I had extra room, I know that uh, my video quality would be 10 times better than what it is. And that's what frustrates me with doing videos um, because I'm limited to building outside Whereas if I had a garage, I know I could do 10 times better, like quite easily. If I had room to film the final PCs or anything, like set up a nice backdrop or something like that, I know I could make crazy videos, but it's, um, it's what it is. I have to work with what I've got. Yeah, I don't think YouTube will die at all. Okay, that looks good. Um, I'm going to have to move the laptop for one second, guys, just so I can get the glass on top, so... Please, um, you know, just chill out for one second if you guys can't see anything. Hopefully you guys can see that. It would be a bit reflective now because the glass is on top. Uh, did you delete the processor and replace this one? I, I don't know if you're talking to me or not, but um, this one's not deleted. It's only just um, it's only just coming from Intel. So I had to test uh, if the actual thing worked first. So if it didn't work, I don't think they'd appreciate receiving back a deleted CPU. Actually, while we're here, I, I, I want to show you guys what I was actually using, you know, in the uh, past week while my CPU was gone. I'll take this off and I'll take these around to the PC I was using. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction because I can't see the laptop. But uh, I basically just had the uh, motherboard box with the motherboard sitting on there, GPU connected, and another tray just with the PSU sitting in there and the hard drives were beside it. It's kind of something I had to settle with. I didn't have any spare cases to go with, um, but it worked. It was fine. Awesome. Let's get the other, other screens connected and uh, get this all up and running. I need to work on the uh, cable management back here as well because I had to take it apart obviously to hook up the other PC it's made a big mess of it around the back But that's all right. We'll fix that later on.
Okay, that's in. That's in. Sweet is. Spaces are in. That's in. Not too much more. Sweet. All three screens are up. Actually, you know what I was thinking? When um, when PAX Australia comes around, I'm going to be doing an X299 system with um, with uh, G Skill Trident, ZRGB RAM, and you know all of that nice high end hardware. So once that build's finished, I'm actually going to take that apart and I'll put the X299 uh, motherboard in there, and I'll probably upgrade the whole system, but. Amelia was talking to me the other day and saying that um, I should make another PC, but a really thin one. So I might actually think about doing a, another desk PC, but a really thin one with the GPUs lying low and see how thin we can make it. I'll make it out of um, uh, aluminum sheets to keep it nice and lightweight. But um, we'll see because we've got other PCs to get done before then. Ah, uh, crazy. Um, I'm in a caravan at the moment, man. I live in a... My parents moved to Queensland, which is a, about a 15-hour drive from where we are. And um, I moved in with Amelia and her family. And um, because they didn't have a lot of space in the house, I'm in the caravan out the, uh, out the back.
79, 7900X. Ooh, it would be good, man, but it's that would be like a lot of money. That would cost a lot. Certainly, I certainly would not pass up, up the uh, offer, but um, that's a lot of money. I could only see that costing like three grand or two and a half Australian dollars or something like that. It's, I don't know. That's that's why I didn't go with the uh, 69 50X or anything. I'm, I'm still rocking the 59 60X because it's still a good uh, 10 core CPU. And um, gets all the work done that I need. Um, Caleb, no, what happened was Gigabyte is a main sponsor of Loser Fruit. So um, Gigabyte contacted me and asked if I wanted to do the um, the build for Loser Fruit. And so I said yes. And that's basically how it started. And from there, um, Gigabyte sort of got together all of the contacts for the build. So we got like HyperX on board, AMD, um, we got Bits Power on board, and we also got Cooler Master on board. And from there, we basically, um, yeah, basically they sent out all of the products, and that's how we uh, started. By the way, guys, I've actually got a um, I've got a care package coming out from Cooler Master. They're sending it out on Wednesday, and it's going to be a whole box of giveaway prizes um, during the Loser Fruit PC live streams. So, um, if any of you guys want to win some good some good stuff, you know, I'm sure there'll be shirts, hats, there'll be keyboards, mice. Um, and whatever else he throws in there, I'm not 100% sure what we're getting. But um, if any of you want any of them, we'll be giving them away during the live streams. I am Luke, yeah, we will be uh, live streaming her build and we'll also be doing build log videos. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna get in front of the camera for a second. Put 
the CPU box. I am so lost right now. I am Luke. Oh, that'd be awesome, man. You don't have to do that, but um, certainly is welcome. I'll definitely do a proper live stream of filling the build and the final product, because um, that's a lot of people like seeing the, obviously the build fill up with liquid. But um, yeah, I've just uh, been sort of live streaming over the past couple of days, just the build process. A lot of it's been pretty boring so far because it's just the first stages, you know, pulling the build apart getting all of the uh, spray painting and stuff done, but um, hopefully it gets a bit more exciting once it sort of starts coming together and, you know, looking good. Absolutely no idea where I put the old CPU box. No idea. We'll just put it in the uh, 5960X box for now, I think. Um, we might schedule it in for a weekend. How about I, I'll let you know um, when I'll be doing the final live stream, like of finishing the build, um, if you want, and then we can um, we can organise that for the final live stream because you know that'll be showing off the finishing finished products, the liquid cooling, like adding all the liquid and, um, you know, just the final design. And then if people have any questions, they can ask them as well. But, um, so maybe we'll, we'll wait till then if you want. Because I think that'll be a lot more entertaining for everyone as well. And that way I'll also be able to see the comments properly because a lot of the time when I'm working, I can't stop all the time to um read the comments all the time so um it's very hard like when you're you know spray painting and that i can't just stop and and read see you later crazy
That's all good. Sorry guys, just gonna go in front of the camera one more time. I can't even find where the other processor box is. Where did I put it? That's alright. Okay, guys, this is all finished. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. We might call it there because I don't really have anything else that I could really show you guys because it's uh, night time at the moment, so I can't really work on a PC outside. Other than that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Nightbot. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know I still had Nightbot in the uh, chat. I mean, you guys can keep talking if you if you want. That's fine with me. I mean, I, <laughs> I can just like chill and chat with you guys if you want. That's that's cool with me. I've, I've got nothing else to do at the moment. All I was going to do is um, get this sort of up and running and go from there. Make sure that my work stuff is installed for tomorrow. Make sure Sony Vegas is all up and running and yeah. Three screens. That's good. <laughs> yeah, but the Not big one. the big test would be um Actually I don't know if I told you, but it would stuff up when Sony Vegas was working. Oh okay. Remember how I said it kept freezing? Freezing, yeah. And then we we're gonna try on your computer? Yeah. So I need to get Sony Vegas working. Okay. Actually I'll, I'll do that now. We'll get Sony Vegas working. Give me uh, one second, guys. I'm just going to turn the um, camera off for one second, guys, because I have to enter in a password key thing, which shouldn't really be shown on stream. It's just to activate my Sony Vegas. So give me one second.
Oh, I've got to fix the screens up. They're not in order. Live streaming. Okay, so I can read the chat there. I've got to change my screens around. Three. Sweet, all right, it's all working properly. And that bevel gap. I'm going to try and render out a video because this is where I was having the problem. We'll render it at 4K at uh, 60 frames per second. And this is where the CPU was starting to stuff up and was just ruining... Um, it was just freezing the, the computer pretty much. chat as well. Channel.
sweet. All right, I've got both chats open now, so I can read them. Birthday is coming up in a month, August 21st. Oh, that's very close. My birthday is probably two weeks after yours. So far, it's actually handling the um, video render all right. That's good. I'd definitely love to upgrade the CPU though for more cores and get the rendering done faster because I'm, I'm starting to do 4K footage at 60 FPS um, a lot now. Hey Corey, think you give me a small loan of a million dollars? I wish I could give myself a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> I, sir, do not have one million dollars. Yeah, my birthday is September 4th. I think that's working alright. I'll test it in a game, because a game stuffed up too. My name is oh, cool. Sweet, we're all good. That's main display now. Get that up and running. That up and running. With steam. Steam. Overclock it? I'll certainly be overclocking it. Excuse me, Amelia. <laughs> Stop using that. <laughs> See if this works or not. Twenty two minutes. Oh, I must have disconnected. Well, we've got seven hours. Oh, okay. Corey, when I build my first PC, what is the best to start with? Air or water? For your first PC, definitely start with air. Or you could go to an AIO called PC, which is um, fairly simple. Amelia is going to start with water cooling though, and she's not doing soft tubing, she's going to be doing a build which is hard tubing. I just want to make sure that the CPU is working alright. Take it up. Center. Oh, please, no! <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Close, close, close. Who's going to hit it? Oh, I'm so bad. I need that boost, man. No, he stole it. I ain't got it. You finish, man. I need boost. You know, normally by now, the um, the CPU would have stuffed up. Yes. Damn. 
think we have a working CPU. Please? Oh, please, yes. Yeah, good hit, good hit. Jump, guys! You save it. I can't jump. <laughs> no, please. Yes, thank you. Finish. Oh, good save. How are you today? Oh wow, I see you. Yes, good goal. The gigabyte. BIOS. I haven't really dealt too much with the uh, Gigabyte BIOS. Thank you very much, Action. Yeah, we just got it up and running. I'm just testing out the CPU to make sure it's um, all working all right. So I just jumped on a bit of Rocket League. I did a bit of Sony Vegas rendering before. Um, it seemed all right so far. Oh, no. Good pass, Corey. Please. Yes. Good save, man. Nope. Ah, uh, Mr. Boost. Question, why do you play Rocket League with a keyboard? I know, I know, I get a lot for it. I've just used the keyboard, to be honest. Like, if I plugged in a controller, honestly, it just, it, it wouldn't look pretty. I mean, it doesn't look pretty right now, but it definitely wouldn't look pretty. I have one here if you want one. And, no, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right, it's all working fine. I think we're pretty much um, good to go. We've got we've got um, CPU seems to be working fine. I tried uh, rendering on Sony Vegas, that's so working fine. I just tried playing 
couple of games, well, one game. That's working fine. I think we're good to go. I just need to install my work program. Actually, wait, it is installed. Let's just see if it's all... All the hard drives are there. I'll show you guys a bit of what I do for work if any of you guys are interested. Let me, um, all right, let's do this. I'll show you guys what I do for work. Let's wait for it to uh, pop up on screen. Let me move the uh, laptop a bit closer so you guys can see. Okay. I was going to try you, but you seem like a nice guy. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> That's all right, man. Okay, so um, basically, I am an engineering surveyor. I do a lot of bulk earthworks, roads, drainage, and things like that. This is actually a survey of a quarry that I'm working at. And basically, all that green is called a surface or a DTM. Um, basically, that's what I create after I've done my survey on site. So I pick up a, a bunch of points. The points have an easting and northing. They also have a level. Now with the level, I can make a 3D model of that, um, of that survey, which can be used to calculate, say, volumes of dirt that a company needs to move or volumes of dirt that they have moved. And in turn, that's how, how they get paid. They also make roads and stuff out there. And um, basically I hit pegs in for them to show them what level to build the roads at so that the roads can flow water when it rains and that um, the storm water and everything won't fail. So I'll show you guys a 3D model actually of what I picked up, of what I surveyed on site. So if I go vertical exaggeration, I'll make that five just to exaggerate it. So basically, there's a lake, lake down the bottom area. Down the bottom area here is a lake going all the way around. And this all batters down to the lake. There's a whole lot of wave protection in here to stop the, um, the ground from, from corroding away and here is like a V drain so it's going to try and prevent the water from running down and creating big ruts in the ground and it also helps the water to run off in these other drains which are going down the side and running all of the water into the lake. Up the top here is a road that they've tried to design you can see that it batters up on each side and in the middle is pretty flat, but there is like a crown point running down the center. And that's pretty much it. The rest of it's basically flat land. I'll show you guys what the design's meant to look like actually. And um, that'll give you guys a good idea. So in this one, you can see that there is, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see properly, but I'm not sure how well the uh, actual camera will pick up on it, to be honest. But there is, there's the batters there that I showed you before. 
there's a road heading up and there's a road heading through here and here is a bit of a basin that needs to be formed up so if I zoom into that basically they have to dig this down to a certain ground level that ground level has to be seven meters below the um, design ground level and the reason for this is they need to fill this up with some solid material like shale for instance which is a soft rock um, and they'll fill that up and this will all become um, then approved to be sort of residential area where they can build houses on it i'll show you guys actually yeah good idea i'll show you guys the uh place in google maps so you guys can actually see where i'm where i'm showing you Okay, so we'll go satellite view. So this whole thing is called Penrith Lakes. It's a big quarry. Lots of lakes through here. It's going to become or house, land, um, like over to the right here. So this is all being formed up at the moment. I did all of the survey work here. It is 10, 10 kilometers long by about five kilometers wide and the area that i was just showing you guys is this area right here so this will all fill up with water once um we have a big river we have a big river called the nepean river heading down here and basically there's overflow paths in there and when we get big rainfall, the overflow paths will overfill with the um, water. They'll fill up this lake first, and then this lake will spill over down to all of the other lakes which are around the site. So this is the area here that I was showing you guys before. Um, and these are the batters that you can see here. All of this rough stuff is the wave protection, which is just pretty much um, rock. And basically... This all started as um, flat land, and this was all dug out, all of this material here. They took all of the rock out of there, and basically that, this area supplies Sydney, well, did supply Sydney with probably 90% of its sand and um, road base and stuff like that. So that's basically what I do. Basically... You know, a lot of survey work for quarries, for building roads and things like that, and drainage. So uh, a lot of bulk earthworks. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys properly um, this area. So that's what the 3D map looks like. That's all topsoil, 100 millimeters of topsoil for the grass to grow on top of that. The grass also helps to stop the ground from corroding once the grass starts to develop. That's the area there. And if I bring up my 3D view of my model, that's this area here. This area right there. Let's we'll see if I can... Um, Bring up some other stuff, maybe. Let me see what I've got. Yeah, I don't have too much on here at the moment. The majority of my um, work's actually on the laptop. So that's pretty much what I do anyway. Okay, guys, um, what's the CPU? The CPU is an i7-5960X. We're just making sure that Intel sent us one that's working um, because I got, a phone, I got a phone call today at work and they said, um, oh, has the CPU arrived? I was like, yes. And then they said, is it working? 
and uh, <laughs> that got me like a bit nervous because you would think that they would send out a, a brand new CPU so perhaps this is like a second hand one that they've sent out I'm not 100% too sure but um, seems to be all up and running so we'll just go from from here and if we have any troubles I'll have to pull out all of the liquid again and just send it back to them so I'll probably call it here guys, I don't have much more to show you guys. Uh, it was definitely good having a chat at the end as well. Um, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> Lots of confidence, man. But um, yeah, so I don't have much more to show you guys. I've pretty much finished with the desk. It seems to be up and running, working well at the moment. And we'll get on to the PC building tomorrow. We've got lots of progress um, that's coming up for the loser fruit. PC and we've got a GPU backplate to make for a client who just purchased the backplate from us and um, yeah we'll go from there. Did you overclock it? I haven't overclocked it yet because basically if the CPU didn't work Intel I don't think would have appreciated receiving back uh, an overclocked you know CPU if anything went wrong or even delittered CPU for that matter. So um, I haven't overclocked it yet, but I will. I will overclock it because that's what I do. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, thanks for all the support as well, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.